What is up everybody? Today we are going to be talking about that. Compression bandage. So this is an emergency compression hemorrhage control bandage. These are awesome. I have a few of these. I run them in different kits. They come vacuum sealed up, so on and so forth. Um, we won't get into pricing and stuff because what kind of price can you put on life? Um, so you don't, um, no matter what this costs, if it can save the life of anyone around you, then it's worth the price. The one thing that these have that kind of causes them to be not carried as much is they're kind of, kind of bulky. And that's because of what all's inside here. Now, it's really hard to take everything that's inside this compressed package and make it slimline. It just is. That's just the way it is. However, sometimes you don't need everything that's in here. You should always have one of these if you can, but this is kind of hard to just have on your body. So we're going to stick that over there. I also put together these. Similar situation. It does not have the plastic piece to put, you know, the pressure on the wound, but it has, you know, some gauze, some gloves, a wrap and a pad to place on it you know after you pack the wound again you know it's kind of kind of bulky so I went on a mission and I came up with an EDC style one so I have two different sizes here this one's a 3x3 this one's a 4x4 comes with gauze wrap and the pad gauze wrap and the pad very thin. These are pocketable. They're not very big. Give you an idea. I wear large to extra large gloves depending on the brand. So that gives you an idea though. So these are much smaller, vacuum sealed, ready to go. Um, I did leave everything in here in its packaging and I know there is a lot of back and forth on doing that. There's a lot of back and forth on leaving gloves in a sealed container. My thought is this. Yes, seconds matter. Milliseconds matter. But so does keeping this stuff as clean and dry as I possibly can. And since these were the first version that I made, I went ahead and left everything in its packaging. I did pop the air to where these could compress down more. Um, now that I'm somewhat happy with the way these worked out, I will probably build some that do not have any of the original packaging left on them, but I want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. My hands are nice and clean, you know, sanitized to keep everything as clean as possible. Um, now granted, a minor infection from a wound pack is a lot better to deal with, with a little bit of dose of antibiotics at the hospital than bleeding out. So a little bit of infection, far better than a whole lot of blood loss. But, so that's what I came up with. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I just wanted something that was a little more packable, a little easier to put in a bag, put in a pocket. You know, something like this you could throw in the car door, just in a little sleeve. You know, you could keep this, you know, if you're in a situation, if you're in a, a, an area or a situation in your daily life where this kind of stuff is needed all the time, you could easily make a few of these and just keep them in the cargo pocket of your pants, you know, keep it in your bag, whatever. You know, my goal was to make something small enough that it would get carried because no matter how awesome this is, people don't want to keep this on their person. But if you take something like this, much thinner, much smoother, these are pretty rough around the edges. This is smooth and slick. Be able to fold that down, slide it into your pocket. And just like with anything that I vacuum seal or seal up, I put a cut right there with a red mark. So all I have to do is just rip this open. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share. Till next time, take care.